Good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Um, just finished making Tuesday's video about the Jeep. Um, kind of explaining why the transmission is right there. Um, but, and today, we have other things. I'm not going to get to work on the Jeep. I'm actually heading up to the bank. <sighs> going to get a... Uh, cashier's check and all that kind of thing and then here in a little bit we are headed to Conway um, for what y'all will have to see um, <laughs> but long story short um, this morning this is Monday I was playing on my phone and uh, I bought a car so <laughs> I'm gonna go get a cashier's check for that and tonight we're gonna go pick it up so, I'll see you guys here in a little bit. Alright guys, so, um, I got Tuesday's video uploading right now, just finished editing that, and I thought I would show y'all the car. This is the car here, 2001 Hyundai Elantra, um, pretty nice little car it looks like, um, got a dent here. Got some dings and dents in the trunk lid. He got a dent here on the uh, quarter panel. Interior looks clean. Uh, motor looks clean. 133,000 miles. You can see the dent there. Tail lights busted. But overall, it looks like a pretty nice little car. Um, printed out my sheet here for the car. Um, got my uh, cashier's check there and um, as soon as my grandpa gets home we're gonna look at the car and uh, hopefully we can drive it home today um, that's why I'm waiting for him so if we can we're gonna drive it home tonight um, seems to be a pretty nice little car um, if it isn't what it's supposed to be I'm just gonna sell it but if it is as nice as it looks on here it does show to be a run and drive um, right there run and drive um, and if so I'm gonna drive it home tonight um, if it runs and drives good I have an idea of what I want to do with the car but like I said if not I'm just probably going to kick it and uh, maybe fix the bumper and some of that stuff. I did some looking before I bought the car, um, and I really didn't intend to buy the car, but um, for the price that it was, pretty good little deal. So, I went ahead and bought the car, but I do know that the bumper and that fender are both pretty cheap. I haven't looked at the uh, back, but I do figure it will probably be pretty cheap. Um, pretty cheap little car. Um, I do know that the front bumper is 50 bucks and the uh, fender there is 40. I can paint them so that's not really a big deal but um, anyways when he gets home we're gonna go look at the car and uh, see if we can get it paid for and purchased and uh, I'll update y'all here in a bit. Okay guys so <laughs> got the car bought and it is over here. Um, of course, the battery's dead. Such that, but here it is. Uh, real clean car. Like I said, it is mine. Uh, clean car. This is what I showed on a while ago. But we're gonna see if we can get some jumper cables. It doesn't have any coolant that's visible so let me get some uh, coolant put in it and see if we can take this thing home but I'll keep y'all updated well they had a jump box went ahead and jumped the car and it's sitting here running I'm gonna see if I can find something tie the bumper up and see if we can drive this thing home um, it does need some water in it but we can stop getting some water in it here in a bit but let's see if we can get figured out Okay guys, we are on 
the road, the car's in front of me. We're good. Um, I did put a little bit of water in it, but it is still pretty low. So if uh, we have to, we'll stop between here and there and let it cool down. Luckily, we only live like 10 minutes from this co part. So um, yeah, that's, that's pretty nice actually. But well, I'm gonna get going guys, focus on the road. And uh, not that I'm looking at the camera anyway, um, I'm just kind of holding the camera here and talking, but I'm going to get going here. I will see y'all when we get back. To All right, guys. So we just got back home and here it is. Um, I've already locked it up where I would show you the inside again. But like I said, yeah, I've already locked the doors and all that. But it's a really clean car. Needs a rear bumper. It's broke away from the loud, from the metal bracket. Um, needs some love on the quarter. Needs tail light replaced because it is broke. And um, I just kind of looked at it a little bit a while ago. But back here we got a little bit of damage on the inside. This piece here is pushed in a little bit. Um, the body's pushed in a little bit. But it's, it rained here a couple days ago and the carpet is dry, so it is still sealing. Um, but I need to pull this tail light out and see if I can pull this piece back. It seems as if the wiring is the only thing holding the tail light. So, let me see here. I'm not going to work on it tonight, obviously, because it's getting dark, but we still got the Jeep. Yeah, there you go. I kind of fold that over. But uh, you can see this is pushed back a little bit, but that's not a big deal. We can, we can pull this. You can see where it used to come out at and then where it is now. But we can pull that out and uh, see what we can do there. But all the... Most of the clips are gone and all that kind of thing. So, um, again, like I talked about, it's got some got some damage back here on the trunk lid, but I'm not really concerned about it. Let me shut that. Put that back on there. But I mean, like I said. A cheap little car. Um, if it's if it's too bad beat up, you can see the the misalignment here. I can stick my finger in it from the trunk lid is bent, and then up here, that's what, that's what run the battery down. The trunk lights on, but uh, we got it started up. I'll probably disconnect the battery in the morning, but got the bumper secured, that way we could drive it. This fender needs replaced, the bumper needs replaced, and that headlight, the mounting bracket up here is broken. I can epoxy that back on or just replace it. Um, but overall, pretty good little car. It's got some dents and dings here, looks like some uh, Tail damage, same thing on the roof, but um, I'm pretty happy with it to be honest. Um, I'm gonna check it over and do all that kind of thing, check out the brakes, the struts, all that kind of stuff. Um, the struts seem to be a little bit loose. You can shake the back of the car, and when you let it off, still got a little bit of play. Um, Trust might be a little bit weak, but you know, it is what it is. It's a 2001 Hyundai. I don't know if I said that or not, um, but it's a pretty good little car. Um, my grandpa said it did fine on the way over here, didn't get hot or anything, so it must still have a pretty good amount of coolant in it um, because he said that wasn't an issue. So, um, but like I said. You know, um, 
how I'm going to look it over and all that kind of thing. Um, when I get the Jeep done, of course. Or get the Jeep pulled out of the shop and look it over. But, this is it, guys. My first Copart auction car. Um, but, guys, I'm going to end the video here. It's been a long day. And I'm ready to go in of working on the Jeep and all of that. Um, I'm going to go in, edit this video, get it going, get it uploading and all that kind of thing. But guys, if you liked this video, please leave a like and comment down below. Hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon. That way you get notified when I post a video. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you all have a great day.